In this video, we will be taking you through the planned procurement notice, giving some background on how and when the notice is to be used, and what information needs to be included when publishing one. The planned procurement notice is a voluntary notice, the purpose of which is to set out that a contracting authority intends to publish a tender notice in the future. It is designed to provide as much notice as possible to the market and allow suppliers to manage and prepare their resources in order to respond to the tender once it is published. It is hoped that this will benefit SMEs in particular who may need more time to structure their activities to allow them to respond to tenders, which will encourage greater competition. This notice is the equivalent of the previous prior information notice or PIN, though it cannot be used as a means to court competition. Contracting authorities may publish a planned procurement notice at any time before the tender notice is published. In some cases, this may be the first notice published about a procurement if a related pipeline or preliminary market engagement notice has not been published previously. Section 15 of the Act sets out that when published at least 40 days and no longer than one year before publication of the tender notice, then the notice becomes a qualifying planned procurement notice. This means that the contracting authority may, if they choose to, benefit from reduced tendering time periods of a minimum of 10 days, though authorities must still have regard to their obligations under the Act, such as their duties towards SMEs and the need to ensure that a sufficient time period to allow responses is provided. Contracting authorities are expected to provide as much information relating to the tender notice as is available at the time of publishing. As such, contracting authorities will wish to consider the best time to publish their planned procurement notice. For instance, there may be little benefit to suppliers in publishing a planned procurement notice nearly 12 months in advance if the contracting authority can only provide limited detail about the opportunity to the market. As the purpose of the planned procurement notice is to set out that a contracting authority intends to publish a tender notice, a planned procurement notice is therefore not to be used when establishing a dynamic market, awarding in accordance with the framework, or awarding under the direct award procedure. Contracting authorities can revise their planned procurement notices to make further information available and, provided this is published within the appropriate timescales, this would still meet the requirements of a qualifying planned procurement notice. The following information must be included when publishing a planned procurement notice. Though please note that authorities should refer directly to the regulations and associated guidance, as this information is only being provided as a general guide to the notice requirements. The required information is information about the contracting authority, the title of the procurement, the unique identifier for the procurement, the contract subject matter, the estimated date when the tender notice for the public contract will be published, the estimated date by when suppliers will be asked to submit requests to participate in any tender procedure or tenders, which procedure is expected to be used, stating whether this will be an open procedure or a competitive flexible procedure. whether the public contract will be awarded by reference to a supplier's membership of a dynamic market, the estimated date when the public contract will be awarded, information on how documents relating to the procurement may be obtained, a statement explaining how and when an interest in the contract may be expressed, and as much of the relevant information relating to the tender notice as is available to the contracting authority at the time of publishing the planned procurement notice. Nothing in this regulation prevents a contracting authority from publish other information that relates to the same procurement in a planned procurement notice. 